Jenny Barker in elementary school is holding a fundraiser at Freddy's tonight from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. tonight. So if you want to go get a burger and some frozen concrete from Freddy's, feel free to go out and support Jenny Barker Elementary School. This wouldn't have been here a couple years ago. KBFC was first debuted August 3, 2015. Garden City High School's broadcasting system had been looking to get a radio station since 2001, with the first radio classes being offered in 2003. Garden City High School's radio teacher, Jesse Bernal, says with researching into PrometheusRadio.com, they found the Community Radio Act, which allowed nonprofit organizations, educational institutions, and Native American tribes to apply to become radio stations. Bernal says that they waited for a long time for, for an opportunity to apply. The Federal Communication Commission did not open a window for low-power FM applications until October 2013. They had a two-week window to apply. Bernal says that he did all the research beforehand and made sure they had all their resources and everything they needed before they applied. They sent the application and waited until January 2014. In January, they got their construction permit, and from January, they had 18 months to be on air. They went on air for the first time on August 3, 2015. Bernal tells us more about the goal of the station. Students are in charge of making sure that this station is on the air. I'm just the, the facilitator. I'm the custodian of all the music. Um, they're the people who are on air. They're the people making all the elements that you hear in between the songs. Our station IDs, they make all those. They make all the public service announcements. They make all the um, different commercials we air. We don't really have commercials, but we have underwriting spots. They do the newscasts, the sportscasts. They're responsible for all that. Before the radio station came about, the station had to broadcast music through the cable channel. The station had their BMI ASCAP license through their cable provider. The cable station was the only way to broadcast their music until they had gotten an online station in 2011 and they broadcasted top 40 music for a while. Junior Hunter Manley says that he signed up for the 21st century journalism class during his freshman year and then signed up for the Buffalo broadcasting class and has been in it since then. Manley says that some skills he has learned to take along with him in the future are how to write news story, how to write a PSA, how to run basic Adobe Audition, how to run a soundboard, check audio levels, and basic fundamentals for radio. Manley tells us what he likes so much about the radio. My favorite thing about broadcasting or things in general is, um, I don't know, just working with the equipment and seeing other people around, uh, having the same thing as you. Like, I really like button pushing, and I push a lot of buttons. <laughs> I push a lot of people's buttons, but I also push the buttons on the board. And um, it's, it, I, get, I get to do what I love, and I get to talk, and I get to sound smart, like, uh, like commentating on a football game. Like, I know the sport, let me show you how I know the sport by telling this, by commentating on it. Or, I know basketball. Let me show you, let me commentate on it, blah, blah, blah. Now the radio is broadcasting full time and students go live almost every day. They play music and have their intros and outros and the station is fully going, with it being only run by students. It is doing spectacular. KBFC will keep broadcasting for many years to come. Reporting for BBS TV, I'm Dade Horney. Hey guys, welcome to KBFZ in the studio at Garden City High School. I'm Cooper Thayer.